So I got two, and I think I'll just keep it at two per order sort of thing and just slowly build it up and my wallet will love me when I finish getting them all because dies are more expensive than stamps. But anyway, um, I got the one for Let's Play for this stamp set. You can see there's a lot of different images and the swing set, the swing separate tree, um, seesaw, the slide, and plus all the critters. And I think I have been avoiding using this stamp set specifically for the fussy cutting involved because every card I want to make with this requires most of the elements in the entire stamp. And then I think, oh, or I could just make that card. <laughs> so, or like a different clean and simple card. So I got the dies. Um, of the dies, I'm most excited about the um, actual swing because this swing doesn't actually attach to the swing set. And I have a lot of tree stamps, so this swing will be perfect to hang from um, a different tree. So really excited about that. And then I can have, because these cute little critters will fit on the swing, plus heaps of other critters will too. So um, that'd be really great. Very looking forward to that. So yes, got this one. Very happy. Have a lot of cards I want to make with this seesaw too. Um, you know, even if it's see you soon. You know, and you're on a seesaw sort of thing. So I think that's great. So anyway, I got the dies for that, and I also got the dies for Critters Down Under. I made a few cards using this gum tree here, and let me tell you, it is painful to cut out. It really is, and every time I use it, I want to use like five of this tree. The rest of the images aren't too bad, but that tree, I tell you, it was killing me. <laughs> so I've been wanting the die set, especially with the die set that actually cuts out in between like this little spot um, and that little spot there. So it actually will be really good. And I mean, as much as I'm not a big fan of crocodiles in real life, I love the sentiment, um, see you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. That's something my grandpa said all the time as we were kids. So I really want to, I mean, find new ways of using this really cute looking crocodile. Too bad real ones weren't this cute. Um, then it's got, you know, a platypus and all that sort of stuff. So I've got all of the little dyes, plus for the little leaves and kookaburra and everything else. So yay, life just got simpler. <laughs> and then back to, oh wait a second. Mm, oh, there was one other one I got. So for this little mini one, the happy summer, I got the dies for it, so it just has the watermelon and the, the ants, and it's really great because of all of my garden scenes, I really wanted to have these little cute ants, and I intend to actually stamp them on acetate with stays on ink, and then die cut them out with the dies, and have them on the front of projects, um, and so you can still see through, um, instead of there being a white border, you'll still see through them, and because they're solid images, I don't have to color them, so I can just stamp in black. Um, and have them sort of on an interactive, even on a slider. Ooh, I could have the ants on a slider sliding across to get the um, watermelon or something like that. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to get the dies so that I could enjoy them. So back to the current stuff. So I got two small, or current releases, I should say. So this one is in the latest release, release and it's... What are they called? Jackalopes? And it's Believe in Yourself, which, you know, because it's a make-believe creature, so they say. <laughs> uh, so the sentiment is Believe in Yourself and I Believe in You, which are great sentiments, but I just loved the jack-o'-lantern. Jackalope, not jack-o'-lantern, jackalope, with his little horns and everything else and the cute little bunny. He was just too, super cute, and for $4, I was getting him. I was not missing out. So that was great. And then this one here is year six, and it was from the previous release. And I love the sentiment on it. It's be a little shellfish. <laughs> it's your birthday. So I think that would be great for just a clean and simple card and have underneath of it or on, you know, just on the front have the clam and be a little selfish and on the inside stamp, it's your birthday. So I think that'd be really good. The clam, of course, matches so many of Lawn Fawn's other stamp sets. Like they've got heaps of beachy themed or water themed ones. So it just sort of I love how Lawn Fawn all of their stuff sort of coordinates with every other stamp set. So you can totally mix and match, especially with these little mini stamps. Um, you can totally bring them in with all of your other sets. So love that. So I got the die only for the jackalope. 
reckon he'll be a lot harder to cut out, whereas this one's sort of just two half circles. He'll be super easy to cut out. So I wasn't too fussed about getting the die for that one. And then from the older release and not in the current one that just came out, but this would be like the CHA one, I got Rooting for You, which is a really cool uh, vegetable stamp set. And it's sort of Lawn Fawn's version of all of the um, stamping, like stepped stamping, sort of flaring up, um, except you're doing vegetables instead of florals or anything like that. So I love it. I have a lot of like pigment ink pads, um, so I didn't need to buy any extra pigment or any, any extra ink pads for this. So I think it's great because they're solid images. So you got like a carrot, the beet, and um, radish and everything. So what have you got? And a parsnip. That's what it is. So you got these three, and you got the lines to go over them, plus you got the stems, and then you got the little, like the center part of the stems to stamp in a different color, plus you got a watering can, um, and you got a little cute label and all these funny faces um, to put on your little veggies, so it's great. The little three thingy here to like spout of water coming out is great. I like that these little, you got beets, radishes, happy carrots, turnips, and veggies, and they will fit on the little label here, which is just awesome. And you got, as far as sentiments, we're rooting for you, and I'm having an upbeat day. So I like those um, sentiments. They're very, very punny, which is something Lawn Fawn's really good at. So I just thought this was a super cute stamp set, and I really wanted to play with it. So I think I'll make some really great summer and garden scenes. Um, and this one as well. Oh, sorry. I did get the dies for it as well. So um, I forgot to mention that, but I did get the dies to go with it. So it has the watering can, all four of the stems, the four veg, uh, four, yeah, the four veggies, and then the labels as well. So you can easily cut out the label, those veggies, the um, stems and the watering can, which is pretty much everything. So there's nothing else you would sort of cut out. So yeah, that's awesome. And the last um, stamp set I got from this order is Fairy Friends. So this is with the CHA release again, so not the brand new release. And I got the dies to match it as well. So, but what I am most excited about this stamp is, is actually the little house more than the fairies, because I want to use it with this mushroom house from Gnome Sweet Gnome and actually do like a little village and I can totally use all the little flowers and the stems and everything else and these um, <laughs> the mushrooms and the grass from the uh, gleeful gardens to make this beautiful scene and have just the little uh, fairy houses in there and some lanterns hanging up and I'd like to actually make two cards. One is a daytime scene and one is a nighttime scene just to see how it looks. Um, and with the nighttime scene you can totally have little lanterns um, glowing and a really dark, sort of just, you know, the magical little nighttime scene and little beautiful stars everywhere. So I really wanted to do that. Even if I don't even use a fairy it just can be a nighttime scene and it can ha be have a magical day. Um, or if it's nighttime, I'll use a different one. But anyway, yes, so I'm really excited about this stamp set. I love that these little, they could be either fern fronds just coming up or, and there's a three of them, or they can just be stems from grass and that sort of thing. Um, and then you've got like little tulips, well, they maybe the bluebells, I'm not sure what they're meant to be, but a daisy and then a little um, tulip here as well some a solid mushroom and some um, little flower fronts to put on the ground fairy fawn fairy wand um, and then three fairies two are flying and one is standing um, I put the fairies I actually want to use it with other stamp sets so that they're carrying things not just the wand or the lantern but like you know um, those old tales where they're you, know, you get the fairies wherever come at night and they make breakfast or they clean the house or something like that so use some other stamp sets and have them in a different scene and do something creative that way with the dies you pretty much get every image including the the fronds these little 
the little stems, which is what I'm really happy about because they would be pretty awful to cut out. <laughs> so uh, it does all three fairies, so I'll just shake them a little bit so they're easier to see. Um, all the flowers, all the fairies, the little stems, and then plus there's the three steps as well, the wand, the birdhouse, not the birdhouse, the lantern, and the mushroom, and the little tulip for that little guy. So it pretty much covers all of these images. Um, and the little, these are like just little steps to have leading up to the house. So yay to that one. Um, I was undecided as to, <laughs> I'm still of two minds between the um, mermaid stamp set that just came out, so I decided to hold off now um, and see how, and I had enough to play with anyway, so I wasn't 100% on those ones. Who knows, I might change my mind. Um, same with the, um, the smoothie one, I forgot what it's called now, but those are two that are sort of maybes for me and you know, maybe in a future order you'll see them showing up <laughs> and I've changed my mind, but for now I've just left them. Okay, so that's it from that haul.